Good morning, friends, brothers and sisters. It's really good to be together. Not physically, but thank you. Please praise God we're together. We're going to hear a very important and relevant message today. The Word of God is always strengthening us and always relevant. And as you know, Howard and Randy were abroad, and now they've returned, and they're in isolation and quarantine. So please remember them, send them a message, call them. You know, it's not easy to be in isolation, that they won't feel alone. We're going to hear a message today, also a time to praise. I know it's difficult, but it's important to pray to pray for the team that is doing the uh, the recordings, the sound. Strengthen them in your prayers. It's fun to serve our congregation, Yeshua's inheritance. And for those of you looking in on the first for the first time, bless you. Stay with us. And it'll be a blessed time with the Lord. May God bless you. Now I want to pray and bless the congregation and the service. Father, we thank you, ask you for a special time. It doesn't matter where we are located. You're, you're everywhere at all times. We want to praise your name. You are worthy of honor and glory. I want to bless also Anatoly. Is going to bring the message that you've given to him. In the name of Jesus, I want to bless those who are looking in for the first time. Maybe they also have some problems, some things going on in their life, waiting for an answer from you. Help them in this. In the name of Jesus, amen. Shalom uvracha lekolam. Anaknus mechim lehalel adonai. כי הוא גדול, הוא טוב, והוא ראוי להכל. אז בואו נהלל אותו.
Shabbat Shalom, dear congregation, Yeshua's inheritance. I'm very happy today to share with you the Word of God. The subject today is to search God with faith. There are many places, reasons that we search for God, looking for a husband, for a wife, for a job. And by our efforts, there's a condition. It needs love to build a family, a good family. Without love, the family breaks apart. To build a house, you need money. To have a good job, you need a profession. The, the search for God is always on the condition of faith, the faith of God. It's to learn the faith of God, to understand God, to know Him, to, to develop a relationship, a communication with Him. God is found by the Word of God with faith. In chapter 11 of Hebrews, verse 1, 
The search for God with faith is that desire to find Him, to know Him, to be with Him. This is the purpose of searching for God. In chapter 11 of Hebrews, it speaks of men and women of faith, many of them. We can call them heroes of the faith. This was in ancient times and a chain of people who were partners with God, with living faith, and they pleased God, and they fulfilled His work. Let's read verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So, faith gives stability. Let's look at our father Abraham. They received the promise from God to give him an heir. He was 70 years old, not young, 75 years old. And he waited for the realization of the uh, promise for about 25 years. He waited with expectation. He was strong in faith. He didn't. He didn't let his thoughts uh, hold him back, but he depended upon God, and he received what he was expecting. Faith is the evidence of things for what we do not see. It's evidence, it's proof. For instance, Noah, God told him that he would destroy all flesh with a flood. Noah didn't see this, but he began to build the ark. And he already expected. He received instruction, and he proved by faith to build that ark. He believed God, and faith moved him, motivated him. Faith gave him feeling, passion to build that ark. Someone said that God is not, uh, faith is not uh, a, a soulish agreement with God, but it's something that God gives. We receive faith from God. God gives us. We have salvation. It's a gift from God, and we, we receive it through faith. One day, Jesus spoke with the Father, who brought his son, that had a deaf and mute spirit. Jesus came to the Father and said, Do you believe? With faith, all things are possible with God. This, fall, this small faith from the Father gave Jesus to do what he did to heal and deliver that son. God is able to do all things, and faith uh, allows God to do all things for us, it's for the believer in Jesus. It's a gift from God. Because of our nature, which is fallen, 
Abraham in himself didn't have this faith. We sin from our sinful nature. But the faith of God comes from God. And we come to him through our faith in Jesus Christ. And there were uh, men and women of ancient times that knew and walked with God and accomplished the will of God through great works that they did by faith. They sought relationship with God. Hebrews 11, verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please God. But he who comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. God requires faith. We cannot please him without faith faith in Him, in God. What God wants to see in us, we are born with a sinful nature. And by His initiative, He took the first step to start a discussion with us, a conversation with us. And by faith we hear his call. And those who believe begin to work towards seeking God. And God is able to establish him in a new life in cooperation with God. This is what faith does. Without faith, we cannot please God. This is the basis for our relationship with God. God requires from us faith. There are people that have sought God all of their lives, and they did many things, but they did not find Him, because they sought Him, because we need to seek God on the condition by having faith. A person that does not remain in the faith He's seeking God not according to his conditions. A person can seek for God and not find him. We have an example with Israel. In Romans chapter 9, verses 31 and 32, Paul the apostle says, Israel, pursuing the law of righteousness, has not attained to the law of righteousness. Why? Because they did not seek it by faith, but as it were, by the works of the law. The works of the law are human works, but the works are faith, are, are acts by faith in God, not simply by doing our own works. In Hebrews 11, verse 3, by faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. So we see how the Word of God works. The unbeliever does not understand the works of God. In John 6, we read of those who left walking with Jesus because they did not, were not able to hear, were not able to bear the words he was speaking.
He spoke that the Word of God is connected to the Spirit. When the Word of God speaks, the Spirit works. One example, in Acts chapter 3, verses from verses 1 to 8, Now Peter and John went up together to the temple at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour, and a certain man lame from his mother's womb was carried, whom they daily, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms from those who entered the temple, who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked for alms, and fixing his eyes on him with John, Peter said, Look at us. So he gave them his attention, expecting to receive something from them. Then Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and walk. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up, and immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. So he, leaping up, stood up and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. So faith in Jesus acted in this man to raise him up, that Peter could do this work. So we need to obey the word of God. There are people that hear God's word, but they are proud. They don't want to submit to the word of God. They don't want to work to God. And people who are under the uh, rule of God, they are blessed. Verse 4 in Hebrews 11. By faith Abel offered to God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, through which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God, uh, faith gives to God the best. What we have, we give to God. We invest our times, our heart, our money, good works, we give to God so that we are trusting in God. Abel brought a more excellent offering to God. Cain was an evil man. He didn't have a proper relationship with God. The gift of God, the gift of Abel, God received. He accepted. And, and Abel was justified by his faith. And the word that is written about him is still speaking to us today. All of these examples we have have been given to us to strengthen us in our walk with God. And God rewards those, rewards the believer with, with righteousness. He gave his righteousness to Abel, and he justifies us through our faith in Jesus Christ. We have an example in Romans chapter 4, verse 3. Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Righteousness is given to all who believe in the Lord. Abraham trusted in God, and God justified him and blessed him. Depend upon God. 
Depend upon God, and God will justify you. Verse 5 in Hebrews 11. By faith Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. Enoch is a good example for us. God took him without him seeing death. In God, this testifies that the believer is a person who overcomes death. The believer in Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. This is really great for us, wonderful. By faith, only by faith can we please God. Through faith, the man will fulfill the conditions that God has given. Dear friend, your faith teaches you how to live as a person to please God. Verse 7 in chapter 11 of Hebrews, By faith Noah, being divinely warned of things not yet seen, moved with godly fear, prepared an ark for the saving of his household, by which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness, which is according to faith. So for you, God will reveal the future of your life. If you come to him with faith in prayer, in the name of Jesus, God will bless you. You will be a blessed person in the name of Jesus. You will inherit the kingdom of heaven. Listen to the word of God. Strive in your works, in your prayer to fulfill the word of God, that God will bless you, that God would give you all the blessings. Your faith would be joined with the Holy Spirit to bring good results from your life. So be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. And your relationship with God. In Jesus' name, Amen. This was truly a very blessed time. Thanks to the praise team and to Anatoly for the word he described. Let's remember the main point to walk in the faith and to go after Yeshua and to depend upon Him. I want to bless you with the ironic blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord shine His face upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Friends, that you'll have a blessed uh, Shabbat and week. We'll see you next week. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, 
hastikha Adonai Kol yamai at tov elai Mi asir hastikha Adonai Oh, 